Imagine a time when the world was divided by a tense Cold War, where armies prepared for battle in ways we may never fully understand. Now picture a powerful machine, built to protect against one of the most terrifying threats in the sky, low-flying attack aircraft and helicopters. This machine was the Jeopard Flakpanzer, a beast on tracks, ready to strike down any enemy that dared to enter its range. What made this vehicle so remarkable? Why was it so effective in its role? Stay with us as we unravel the story of the Jeopard and how it became a key player in the defense of the free world. You won't believe what it could do and how it changed the face of military defense. The Jeopard Flakpanzer was born out of necessity during the Cold War, a time when the world was on the brink of conflict. Built by West Germany, it was a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, SBAG, designed to counter the threat of low-flying aircraft, especially attack helicopters and jets, which were growing more sophisticated by the day. At its core, the Jeopard was built on the chassis of the well-known Leopard 1 main battle tank, MBT. This gave it a proven foundation that combined firepower, mobility, and armor, traits that made the Leopard 1 one of the most respected tanks of its time. But the Jeopard was not just any tank. It was something much more specialized, crafted for a very different purpose. The vehicle itself weighed around 52.5 tons and was equipped with twin 35mm Erlikon GDF autocannons that could fire up to 550 rounds per minute. The rate of fire was impressive, and it could engage targets up to 3,500 meters away, a significant range for a vehicle of its kind. Imagine the sheer power of two rapid-firing autocannons, each one capable of tearing through the air with a barrage of armor-piercing high-explosive APHE and high-explosive incendiary HEI rounds. The Jeopard was designed to engage anything from fast-moving jets to slower, vulnerable helicopters, such as the Soviet MiG-21 and Mi-24. Its role was clear. Protect ground forces in key locations by taking down aerial threats before they could strike. What set the Jeopard apart from other air defense systems was its sophisticated radar and fire control system. The Jeopard wasn't just a big gun on tracks. It was a well-coordinated platform that could track targets in real time, calculate firing solutions, and engage them accurately. The system included a tracking radar that could locate enemy aircraft in all weather conditions. This radar worked seamlessly with the vehicle's fire control system, FCS, which allowed the crew to fire with precision and speed. It wasn't enough to just have a fast firing cannon. Being able to find and engage targets quickly was the key to survival, and the Jeopard excelled in this area. One of the most remarkable features of the Jeopard was its ability to defend itself and others. It wasn't just about shooting down enemy aircraft. The Jeopard could also protect its own position by using 76 mm smoke grenade dischargers, mounted in twin banks on the turret. In a combat scenario, these smoke grenades created a smokescreen around the vehicle, obscuring its position and making it harder for enemy forces to target it. The ability to self-screen gave the Jeopard a massive advantage, as it could quickly disappear from sight, avoiding counterattacks and repositioning to strike again. The mobility of the Jeopard was just as impressive as its firepower. Built on the Leopard 1 chassis, it retained the MTU-10 cylinder multi-fuel engine that gave it 830 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour on the road. It also had an operational range of about 340 miles, giving it the endurance needed for long missions. The torsion bar suspension system allowed it to travel across rough terrain with ease, whether it was navigating through forests, swamps, or uneven battlefields. This mobility was crucial during combat situations, where the Jeopard needed to stay one step ahead of the enemy. Despite its impressive firepower, mobility, and self-protection, the Jeopard was far from invincible. It relied on conventional steel armor, which offered protection against small arms fire and shrapnel, but wasn't designed to withstand direct hits from larger caliber weapons. However, this wasn't necessarily a weakness. The Jeopard's role was more about engaging enemies at a distance before they could get close enough to pose a serious threat. 
The combination of speed, firepower, and a well-protected crew compartment meant that the Jeopard could take on most threats without relying heavily on thick armor. To understand the true impact of the Jeopard, let's look at its battlefield applications. Throughout the Cold War, the Jeopard became a key component of Germany's air defense strategy, designed to protect both ground forces and high-value targets from low-flying aerial threats. Its primary mission was to target attack helicopters, like the Soviet Mi-24, which were equipped with deadly missiles and machine guns. The Jeopard would provide an additional layer of defense against these agile attackers, ensuring that larger, more vulnerable systems like tanks and infantry weren't easily targeted from the air. The Jeopard wasn't only used by the German military. It was adopted by several other countries, including Brazil, Jordan, and Romania. Each of these nations recognized the value of the Jeopard in their air defense strategy. In fact, the system was so effective that countries that had used it were reluctant to retire it, despite the advent of newer, more modern systems. In Jordan, for example, the Jeopard continued to serve as an essential part of the nation's defense for many years after it was retired from German service. It was a symbol of the Cold War era technology that remained relevant even as the world shifted toward more modern solutions. However, as time passed and technology evolved, the Jeopard was eventually retired by Germany in 2010. This marked the end of an era for the German military, which had relied on the Jeopard for decades. The introduction of newer systems like the GTK Boxer, a multi-role wheeled vehicle, meant that the Jeopard was no longer the cutting-edge air defense solution it once was. Yet, despite its retirement in many countries, the Jeopard's legacy lives on, especially in nations that continue to use the vehicle today. The Jeopard Flakpanzer stands as a prime example of Cold War ingenuity. With its combination of firepower, radar, mobility, and self-defense measures, it was one of the most effective anti-aircraft systems of its time. It offered a glimpse into a world where air superiority was everything, and ground forces needed reliable protection against the ever-present threat from the sky. The Jeopard was a master of its craft, able to hunt down and eliminate aerial threats with incredible precision, all while ensuring its own survival on the battlefield. Today, the Jeopard may no longer be in active service with most Western armies but its legacy remains an essential part of military history. The lessons learned from the design and use of the Jeopard have influenced the development of modern air defense systems. Its mix of mobility, firepower, and technological sophistication continues to serve as a model for today's self-propelled anti-aircraft platforms. If you found the story of the Jeopard Flakpanzer fascinating, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like if you enjoyed learning about this incredible Cold War era machine and share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the Jeopard could have played a role in today's military operations? Let us know. Your feedback helps us bring you more in-depth stories about the fascinating world of military technology. Stay tuned for more exciting content.